Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last here in New Hampshire, in Manchester, just outside of Boston, as we look forward to a Friday night fight night here in the United States. I'm joined by Murajan Akhmadaliev. How are you, mate? Hello, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well, and um, I'm good and uh, happy to be here. Nice city. Uh, I looked around a little bit. Everything's beautiful, clean, so I'm enjoying it. Before we talk about Friday night, um, I haven't spoke to you personally before, so I do just want to sort of get your experience over the, the last couple of years. Starting in Miami, where I was there and I saw you win um, the world title. I just want to talk about that night and sort of your emotions and you know, I saw how elated you and your team were, just the emotions and what that meant to you that night in Miami. Saying, um, of course, it was a dream come true. I dreamed about becoming a world champion. I could never achieve it in amateurs. So for me, it was a goal, you know, I, I didn't want to let it go in uh, pros become a world champion and uh, God bless things changed uh, and life got better since you know uh, I can't complain about anything and I'm looking forward for the bigger challenges bigger fights and uh, uh, you know um, coming in this Friday uh, to show another great performance. There were sort of uh, murmurs about a potential homecoming in Uzbekistan but I just want to talk about a video that I saw that when you went back to Uzbekistan after the world title win you were literally like a god, like a celebrity. Um, you say your life has changed. How has your life changed? And I suppose you're a superstar now in, in Uzbekistan. Yeah, I'll be honest. I was quite surprised with the way people treated me. Of course, I worked all my life really hard for those titles. And uh, it was a special moment for me. But when I got there and seen all those thousands and thousands of people meeting me, and the capital, you know, then then they we had a parade and few parades, you know, and then parade in my hometown, and the mayor and the governors and the the president and the premier minister and everyone will will greet me and meet me and uh, congratulate me, and then, you know, obviously, of course, I defended the belts at home, you know, and I uh, everything I'm doing, I'm doing for my people, you know, for my fans, for my supporters, for my country, you know, so. To me, it's really important. And this Friday, the goal state remains the same. Defend what belongs to me and bring the belts home. Obviously, you did end up getting your um, homecoming in Uzbekistan. Um, I watched it on the zone. Fantastic night. It looked like a really good atmosphere. What is it about Uzbekistan that sort of got people so interested and, and entertained in boxing? Because over the last few years, it's just been like a spectacular boom uh, in your country. Uh, first of all, yes, in Uzbekistan, the crowds are crazy, the fans are crazy, they love boxing, they love sport at all, and uh, in overall, and uh, especially our, our Olympic team, you know, and uh, everyone was pleased for us as a fighters that the zone was over there, that uh, match room was over there, it's a big, big event for us, and we wanted to show good fights, and we did, you know, so... Thank God and uh, looking forward the next show in December and, uh, you know, uh, more more fights coming in. And as, us as a fighters, what what's special about, you know, Uzbekistan is, first of all, that we we all really work hard, you know, nothing was given to us, nothing was provided. We, we fight for every opportunity for uh, through our life, you know, so the character, you know, is there and uh, the willingness to fight is there. Second, it's the coaches, you know, because they're doing a great job with the with their with their students, you know, the national coach, the uh, Marat Kurbanov, the Tolkien Kilich of uh, Rafma John, and all our coaches are um, providing their all for us, you know, like like they're always there for us. Thanks to them. And third is that we're eating. If if there was no food, Uzbek food, the plov and uh, horse meat, we we won't be there where we at right now. We like to eat and that, that gives us energy and strength to always go forward towards our dreams. So you've had, like I said, two really good fights that we've just quickly recapped and you move on to Friday night now. We know in boxing nothing is smooth, nothing is easy. Um, Ronnie Rios obviously pulled out of the fight because he failed his COVID test. Um, a late replacement opponent, does that bring sort of different troubles preparing for someone and then having someone new just dive straight in? Of course, it's a tough time right now with COVID and with everything that happens. And thank God, um, he had, uh, I had COVID too, and uh, uh, I went not too hard through it. Uh, I hope that Ronnie will feel well too, and it won't hurt him, and we'll meet in our next fight. He's a warrior, and I was preparing for him. I respect him, but uh, 
thankfully we had another opponent, another warrior, another great fighter who comes forward, WBO international champion, uh, great, tough guy, experienced guy, even more experienced than Ronnie was. So I'm looking for a tough fight, but uh, as we're preparing for the fight, uh, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who we're going to fight. If we're prepared, we're, we're going to proceed and we're going to win. I know you have dreams to become undisputed champion. We have the other fight with Figueroa and Fulton. Um, just your thoughts on that fight. Obviously, I know Figueroa is a stable mate of yours as well. Just your thoughts on that fight and potentially how, how that may play out. Um, that's true. That's correct. My goal is probably like everyone else in this sport is to become undisputed champion. And uh, uh, I'm not looking past my opponent this Friday. The most important for me right now is I'm concentrated on this opponent to defend my belts, to bring them back home to my family. And uh, that's the most important. As far as um, uh, Figueroa Fulton, of course, uh, Figueroa is my, uh, you know, stable mate. We train at the same gym. We train with Joel Diaz. And I know him. He's a very good guy. And uh, he's fighting uh, Fulton. I can't tell you too much about this fight because I don't know the other guy too much. I haven't seen him too much, so I can't predict how the fight is going to go. Uh, but uh, it's boxing, and in boxing, anything is possible. Anyone can win. A lot of people were saying that Neri is going to win, so um, uh, it's a tough, it's a tough fight. But uh, it's the fight for two two other belts, you know, and uh, may the best man win. I'm sure you've probably uh, shared rounds, I imagine, with. I was just wondering if he does come through and you do go f come through your fight, obviously I know, like you said, your focus is on Friday night and nothing else, but would you two be open to, to sharing the ring together? Of course, and there is no doubt about it. Like, uh, it's, uh, it's his goal, it's my goal, and, and, and that's why we're here in this sport, you know, to, to fight. You know, this is sport, it's nothing personal, and uh, if he wins and he has two other belts, then we have to get in the ring and figure it out who is the best guy. And uh, the ring will show who, who, who's the better guy. That's it. Marajan, thank you for your time. Just finally, when you step in the ring on Friday night, we've seen uh, you in fights before and you're entertaining it and you're a very, very good fighter, of course. But what can we expect to see from you on Friday night when we tune into the zone? Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. And about uh, Friday 19, we'll see. We'll see what opponent is going to bring to the ring. But I'm, as always, I'm ready to uh, bring the action, you know, and to show my skills uh, show my power, show my energy and everything, you know, but it will also depend on uh, what the opponent is going to do. So, but for me, you can expect only the um, good, uh, exciting fight.